G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today we've got a big mishmash of tiny drones on the bench. What we're going to be doing, a bit of a shootout head-to-head, -head because we're going to be looking at some 2.5 inches and a 3-inch to find out what is the right option for you, and I've got the Emax Baby Hawk Pro versus the Leader 3. I've wanted to do this video for a long time, but due to some technical difficulties that you're going to discover, thank you very much, Leader 3. We're going to be putting them on the bench, breaking them down, and originally, like, I've had to come back and reshoot this intro because originally it was meant to be simple. We put them on the bench, we take them out to the field, we fly them around, we give you the impressions. Yes, that's what was meant to happen, but that is definitely not the case that happens. Stuff gets a little bit crazy, maybe even diving on the inside of some chimneys. So, this is a whole can of worms, this video. It did not go to plan at all, but what it did do, it made for a good, interesting video, even though it's not as sequential as most of my other UAV Futures features. So, what this is, this is, I guess, the part one and a half. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to put them on the bench. We're going to break down and talk about the pros and cons of the Baby Hawk versus the Leader 3. And this was before I'd flown it. And then we're going to go out to the field. I'm going to show you the impressions of Cal when we're in the field with the Emax Hawk. And then in a separate video that should be up very, very soon, that's going to be the part two. We're going to show you the flights with Grumpy Trev where he looks at the Hawk and also the Leader 3 because we got it working that time by the time we got round to the third revision. And then some crazy stuff like chimney dives, it's explosive and just a whole lot of shenetic and fun. So enough rambling, let's stick it on the bench and do a comparison because I know a lot of people did like the Leader 3 or a lot of reviews said they were fantastic. So put them head to head against the Emax Baby Hawk Pro and uh, sort of just find out if you want to get a little three inch racer, two and a half inch racer, how they're gonna go. All right, let's do it. Have some fun in three, two, one. Alrighty, here they are on the bench. Here's the battle, a bit of a shootout. We've got the uh, Baby Hawk on this side, the Leader 3 are right here. And as we're gonna go through an OVB, then talk about the components, all that that sort of stuff. I don't know how the video is going to go because it's kind of rare that I do two things at the same time, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. So you can see the main difference for me is that this one is a 3 inch and this one is a 2.5 inch and some people might think that's unfair, but look, that's just what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's stick them on the scales, find out how much they're going to weigh because they're very similar spec and I bet you we're within, I'm going to say, I'm going to guess and say we're within 10 grams of each other. So, oh, low battery. No, that's not going to work. Let's use our secondary scale we've got over here they're a bit smaller it's coming in at 90 grams and the leader three coming in at 84 grams so amazingly enough it's probably this shell that's making the difference even though uh, this one it is rocking larger props it is just a little bit lighter but still both very very light and if you're worried about weight restrictions or anything like that I definitely think either of these two are going to be a great choice now both of these they're designed to be taken out of the box uh, this one's a bite and fly this one you do have to put your own receiver in so factor that when you're going to do the prices I think this one is a little bit more expensive it's about the 170 this one's about 120 but you know when you put the receiver in there's probably $50 difference so that's something we're definitely going to need to weigh up and is also in the leader 3's advantage as well because it is significantly cheaper. Now what we should do let's go through some of the components now uh, we're going to take the props off that's why I haven't screwed them down. This one just some pretty generic props on the outside these are 3 by 3 by 3s these ones, these little micro AVANs are 2.5 inch. I love these props. These props, I know a lot of people are really enjoying. So I think out of uh, the prop one, this one is winning here. So these props, these red props, I do like them. I'm going to link them down below if you just want to check those out. Maybe you've got some micros that you want to put them on. Now when they're like this, you can see the motors side by side. They are both rocking this very, very similar motor, just specced with some different sort of KVs. So we've got some Emax motors right here. They're 1106 and 6000 KV. And that's because the higher KV because it's got a smaller proper. 2.5 inches and the leader 3 it's 1106 as well but it's got a slightly lower kv because its props are larger it doesn't need to spin them quite so fast and that one is 4500 now very quickly let's go through the middle so uh, i'm going to need to take this little screw out so we can actually see a little bit more of the hawk it's very easy on the leader 3 inside here they're both rocking f4 flight controllers but we've got the little sort of micro magnum stack in here the v2 which is very very cool it's got beer heli 32 which is nice on the hawk it's a 25 amp which is pretty cool and of course it's got our beta fly osd in there uh something that's kind of interesting in i guess in comparison to this one this one's got a 28 amp 4 in 1 but it is only beer heli s so a slightly higher amperage in the leader 3 
but it is only BL Heli S, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice if this one had BL Heli 32 as well. Of course, an F4 flight controller in the Leader 3, and then on the top, this is where we've got our VTXs. Now, both of the VTXs in here, you can change the power levels, but they are both locked, so you're going to need to go through and do a bit of an unlocking if you want to access all the channels, because at the moment, they're both set on 25 milliwatts. Now, probably here is one of the stars of the show in both of them, and it's strange, towards the front, we've actually got some CADX cameras. So right here, we've got a little CADX, the yellow one. Here, it says Emacs on the top, but if you flip it underneath, you can see they've also got a CADX underneath, and uh, I think that's interesting. CADX might be the new, uh, most of them used to come with run cams, and it looks like CADX is really making a name for itself. You're seeing it more and more in a lot of little micro cams out there. So I can't, and sorry, a lot of little micro crafts out there. I can't wait to get out and see if there's actually a difference between these two and which one offers the best picture. And then there's some little extras as well, like we, both of these have little LEDs. You flip them over underneath, the difference is you get the, I'm going to take this sticky plastic pad off right here. You do get a little Velcro strap and this little battery pad right here, which is not on the Leader 3, so that's a nice little addition. And then I guess uh, we should measure the carbon thickness as well. All right, so the Hawk's coming in with three millimeter arms, and I think this one is the same on the racer. That's three millimeters as well. And then really, I guess the only difference is time to talk about the design of the thing a little bit. Now, the design of the Hawk, I'm not sure how I feel about this little plastic canopy. There's a lot of stress, I guess, on this little front joint where the camera is. And I think this one is a better shape. I do prefer this. I think it's going to be stronger. It's going to hold up better in crashes. I'm going to put my money on carbon over plastic yeah, when it comes to these two anyway, in a high speed crash. I do think this part's going to be very interesting between the three inch and a 2.5 inch. Three inch traditionally, I think you're going to get a little bit better flight times. It might be a little bit nicer on the battery, but time will tell. We're going to sort of hold our judgment till we go out, fly these things around. But other than that, the design of them is very, very similar, especially when you look at the design of the components. Everything they've chosen to put in here, it's very similar spec, very similar stacks, very similar sizes, very similar motors, and almost identical cameras. Now, this is where we should probably move on, talk about the quality of the thing, and this is actually where I think the Hawk wins out. I'm going to say about a seven and a half, a little bit closer to eight. Emacs traditionally in the past makes very, very good stuff as well. Everything in here looks nice and shiny, uh, and just that little bit cleaner, I'd say, than on the Racer 3. So this one, I'm just going to say a seven out of 10, this one about 7.5 or possibly an eight. Plus Emacs has a very, very good track record as well. Now I guess that brings us on to the pros and the cons when you're going to go head to head, which one's going to be right for you. And let's get a big con out of the way for the Hawk, it, just in regards to this one. If we looked at it on its own merits, that would be uh, maybe a little bit different, but versus this one, versus the Leader 3, the Baby Hawk Pro is a little bit more expensive, coming at around 50 bucks, but you do need to put your own receiver inside the Leader 3. So, you know, add that up into the price, but then yeah, it's about 50 bucks difference once you've done that. And then other than that, they're very, very similar things. I mean, we've got the smaller, better props on this one. We've got the larger three inch props, but I don't think they're quite as nice. I really, really do like these props. The cameras are both great in both of them. The quality's fine. Uh, and I think just for something you can take out of the box and fly around, you want to have them in a small space. You don't want a big five inch. Something like this is going to be right up a lot of people's alley. Now this isn't about the Hawk so much itself, but Emacs does have a good track record with these baby Hawks. I know a lot of people like them, but a lot of people like the Leader 120 as well. Now, uh, now both of these have an interesting bit of history, a little bit of pedigree. I know so many people, they love the uh, the Baby Hawk, so to have a pro version, it's going to be very interesting to test out. And then also, a lot of people flew around the Leader 120, so it's going to be interesting to see how the Leader 3 goes, because both of them have a little bit of pedigree, I guess, when it comes to these micro-sized crafts. Now, one of the other cons for me is really their battery choices. So, I guess they're not really designed for 4S, even though they say they can take a 4S, I think they're going to be much better suited and much better tuned to a 3S, so that's what we're going to be flying around. And then that's where it really comes down to the flight footage, so that's what we need to do in part two is go fly these things around find out which one's going to be the right one for you i know that was pretty quick to get through two drones but i really feel like these two they're they're in a competitive sort of market going against each other they're both going after people who they want a good little reliable fly they can take out of the box fly around it's not going to take up too much size and it's going to be very interesting in the field to see what cal or trev or whoever's out there thinks between the 2.5 inch and the 3 inch and see if they can tell a difference and see which one they like more and also show you guys that dvr footage Radio out here in the field, we got uh, crash test cow, cameraman cow behind the camera giving me some cues. What we're going to do, I did want to do the shootout between the Baby Hawk Pro and also the leader, but for some reason my leader just does not want to bind up, no, not bind, it doesn't want to respond no matter what receiver I put in, no matter what you are, what setting, 
I'm having some issues. So we're going to do some flights with the Baby Hawk R, record that, see what Cal thinks about it, and then I guess later sometime in this video, once I get around, I know Trevor's got a lead of three or borrow as well, we'll get onto that and see how that goes. So this is the first part. I don't know how the video is going to go in terms of where we'll go to from here, but let's do it and check out the Baby Hawk Pro. Radio on board, of course, no HD, just flying around with some DVR and overall for two and a half inches, it's, some of you will laugh at this, for two and a half inches, it doesn't excite me much. I feel like, yes, it's a smooth flyer, the camera's okay, everything seems fine, it's, it's smooth when you punch the throttle up as well. We're only on 25 milliwatts here, but I just wasn't feeling any adrenaline pumping through my veins or I didn't get that really rush that I get and I know it's only a, a small propped quad and all those sorts of things and maybe you want to fly it in tighter areas and it, I definitely don't think it's really suited for indoors but for me and and I don't think Emacs is really going to like me saying this but I don't work for them I work for you guys and I, I feel like it's it's okay it's not bad but it's definitely not groundbreaking and the price is up there a, a little bit and just because it's smaller doesn't mean really necessarily that it's cheaper but for the same money or some similar money you can get some also some other amazing crafts i think even something like the xjb sort of puts this to shame if you want to fly it outdoors or anything like that so look i know it's probably not the the what Emacs wanted me to say, but it's sort of how I feel anyway. And this is where I'm going to start a little bit of beef, and I'm not going to mention any names, but there are some people in particular, and yeah, I watched some of the videos out there, and it frustrates me no end because it seems the only products they ever talk up are either their own products, or if you watch their reviews carefully, they'll say that it's uh, it's uh, Emacs can do no wrong, and everything else is, seems to get a lot more scrutinized. So I don't know if they're secretly working for Emacs behind the scenes, but for me, my impressions, and, and I'll leave you up to sort of watch all the reviews and see who, who that is because I don't want to start too much, but I just want to say be careful when you're watching all these reviews as well. Take in as much information as you can from as many sources. And so that's that's my advice for anyone watching reviews out there as well. But that's enough. Enough rambling for me. My thoughts of the Emacs Baby Hawk overall are it's okay. It's nothing groundbreaking, and it, it doesn't really excite me too much. But it's 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 not a bad fly. It's definitely not bad by any means. It's nice and clear and responsive and all that sort of stuff. It does have a little bit of poke, but it just wasn't getting the juices pumping. For, we need a bit more than two and a half inches. <laughs> Innuendos. Alrighty, CTC. So we've got here the Emacs Baby Hawk Pro 2.5 inch. It was meant to be a shootout with the Leader 3, but, you know, problematic issues at the moment with that one. What's your first impressions on this? It looks like it. Uh, it's pretty smooth and it goes pretty well. I don't really like the look of it. It looks a bit toy-like to me. It looks like something you'd buy your nine-year-old son. But having said that, I watched Stu fly it around and I was very impressed with how it moved. It was smooth, it was fast. And it's it just was, 3S that we're flying yeah, around Yeah, it was everything that you come to expect from Baby Hawk aircraft. So, um, no, it's, it's a pretty nice little machine. I've got no complaints from what I've seen yet but I haven't had a fly of it so let's see if I can find something to complain about. Alright let's do it. Alright CTC. Let's give this email. We've got a little bit of wind coming in now too. I think she can handle it. A little two and a half inch. Uh, okay punch out a little lackluster but look I've been I've just been flying some very powerful quads so that's to be expected I guess in relative terms. For a two inch, uh, two point five inch, got two point five that. inch. You know, I kind of, for me, I draw the line at three inch, uh, and I think it's just all diminishing returns once you go lower than that. And I'm, I'm having that feeling right now as I fly this. It's smooth. It's precise. I think this would be a great quad for anyone that's limited in, uh, you know, where they can fly if they've only got a small park or a big yard or something. I think it's perfect for something like that. Look, it's probably good to learn on as well. Look, you're never going to kill anyone's dog with it by accident, or you're never going to really hurt anybody. It's so small and light. Is it fun? Look, it, yeah, it is fun. I, I'm not denying that. It's fun, but uh, it's not kind the kind of performance that I'm used to with with uh, racecraft like the XJB or anything. But that's a three inch, of course. But I'm telling you that extra half inch it makes all the difference to me. But uh, for someone uh, who just likes to Miranda or just likes to enjoy a bit of uh, flying in a local park, I think this is going to be ideal. I, th I think you'll have a great time with this. I, I wouldn't think it's a track racer, but having said that, I don't really have any other 2.5 inch quads in my head that I can really compare it to because I stay away from them. They don't impress me that much. 
this one's pretty nice uh, and I'd say a lot of people will enjoy it. All right, what would you say? What's Cal's famous four words to sum up the experience of the Baby Hawk Pro? Is it for pros? Not really. Um, look, it is another Baby Hawk. It's much the same as the other Baby Hawks in my mind in, in, that kind, in the kind of niche it fills. So look, it's for people who live in big cities, built up areas, people who are just learning. I think it's gonna be fabulous for those type of people. But for seasoned pilots who like to rip it around a track uh, at 100 plus miles an hour, I, I don't think this is for them at all. all right. But like I said, it's gonna be a great little uh, flyer to fly in close proximity where you've got people, where you've got uh, animals and stuff. It's not gonna put anyone in hospital, which is one great thing. And it's also, I should say, not very intimidating in terms of the noise that it makes. No. It's quite um, placid, maybe. Well, it doesn't sound aggressive. Yeah, so that's, that's definitely a plus. You lose control with a five inch, you can put someone in hospital quick smart. So uh, it's very light, very small. It's not gonna do too much damage to uh, property or people. And uh, it's pretty easy and tame to control. It's very, uh, very flyable, requires no PID tuning. It's got no bad uh, characteristics in terms of its flight. So I'd say it's a winner. If this is the kind of craft that you're looking for, it, it, it's, it's definitely a winner. Uh, nice. Thanks, Cal. No that's a, that was the longest four words I have ever seen. Yeah, just a couple of words over, that's all. <laughs> and also, batteries are pretty cheap if you're coming down here too. So, well, I think yeah. those, they're only a 30C battery. And uh, they were like $4, $5 versus a $40 battery or something if you go into a big 6S thing. And they, these small craft can be surprisingly efficient, actually. So, you know, couple with the fact that it's really lightweight. Well, here we go. We've started him oh. again. Cal's red. The fact that it's really lightweight, it doesn't have much inertia, you're going to have a hard time kind of breaking this. The most you're going to do is probably crack a buster prop every now and then. I don't know how these little tiny motors will hold up, but they're made by Emacs, so they're going to be as good as just about anything else on the market. So yeah, good job Emacs. All right, thanks Cal. Rightio, so there it is. There's my kind of half overview. I know it's strange to do a comparison there, but otherwise the video goes for like 25 minutes and I know not everybody just wants to watch the bench breakdown. So there's my part one with the Emacs flights thrown in there as well. And definitely I'd love to know what you guys think. But before we do that, for the second part of the comparison, a little card should pop up there. It should be out very, very soon after this video uploads. That's where we're going to go out and fly it around. We're going to get some impressions of Trevor as well. And then some crazy stuff. We finally did get the leader working because this one, it really has taken about six weeks until we had enough parts and really put it through its paces and you know to make this video so it took a while so that part two should be out there go watch that put your comments down below and a uh, little spoiler we're gonna actually dive the chimney so some very very cool stuff an iconic place where I learned to fly there's this big chimney stack we're gonna dive right down the middle so uh, definitely stay tuned for the part two go watch that now other than that subscribe for more FPV related Emacs baby hawk versus the leader three related action and as always Happy flying. Try and dive the chimney. Tony assures me we can get it back. So uh, there's a little hole at the bottom. We're gonna try and dive down the inside of the chimney with the leader three and see how we go. All right, Melbourne, Melbourne. I won't be held responsible for the outcome of this video. Melbourne.